In the news tonight, a fire youth shot dead by bandits who attempted to steal his motorcycle. So why we run to assistance, somebody to be turned over, he had a hole by his stomach and they said that was it, he finished. But let me tell you something, that child born and growing here and he was a good youth. That's all I could say, but very manly, they are humble children. And Senior Counsel Ford is not worried about government's appeal of Justice Kisun's ruling. The judge's decision, as I said, was very clear, concise. Um, it took into consideration all the possible arguments. The judge examined the intent of the government, of the National Assembly, in bringing these new laws into place as part of a constitutional scheme. Many Sapphire residents are upset this evening following the census killing of a 22-year-old resident of that community. The young man was shot by bandits who attempted to take his motorcycle. There is Alwyn Griffith, a laborer of South Sapphire. The incident, according to a statement released by the police, occurred on Sunday at approximately 21 hours 30. Reports are that Griffith was sitting on his black CB1 motorcycle bearing registration number CM3560 in front of his home when two men approached him. One of the men pointed a handgun at Griffith and attempted to take his motorcycle. As a result, the men got involved in a scuffle and one of the bandits fired a shot at Griffith hitting him to his right upper chest. Griffith, the police said, ran a short distance before collapsing on the roadway. Speaking with reporters, residents said Griffith was hardworking, manly and focused. They recall him working and saving his money all last year to purchase the motorcycle. I last night I was inside and I hear bow. And by the time I come out, I see my neighbor's son run and drop. So I we run to assistance, somebody to be turning over, he had a hole by his stomach and they said that was it, he finished. But let me tell you something, that child born and growing here and he was a good youth, that's all I could say, but very manly, they are humble children, but you see, he saved his money to buy a bike and that is his ending, a night like last night, it was so sad, it was so sad, 22, so sad, so sad, but, but it's so sad, it was no, that you're in a neighborhood and you're not safe where you live and what more can I say? That's it. You see, oh, when does get shoot and when I rush out and come see him lie down there. So I hear like from in front down there, eh, like them try to scuffle with the bike or so and like them shoot he and he run and fall right down there. Very nice. Was my friend is a chubbly bad make joke with the answer. The suspects then attempted to mount the motorcycle, but an alarm was raised by residents who gave chase behind the bandits while rendering support to Griffith. One of the suspects, a 19-year-old from Old Boyston, was caught by residents. He was beaten and is now hospitalized in an unconscious state on the police guard. A post-mortem examination is expected to be carried out on Griffith's body to ascertain the cause of death. Washi. Hi people. Washing made so easy since I found Washi. Washing me use wash me clothes and I can say. Washi soap powder wash clothes so nice. Washi soap powder leave your clothes color bright. Washi soap powder leave me clothes smelling nice of course. So give thanks to Washi soap powder for doing my laundry in right. Keep my clothes color bright. Have me clothes smelling nice for sure. I could not ask for more. Comes in lemon and original. It is a washing machine in a pack. Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash your soap powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. It's here. Igloo ice cream fruit bars. Four mouth-watering flavors. Mango, pineapple, strawberry, and soursop. A beautiful combination of real fruit and igloo ice cream. Go old school with fluty popsicle. Classic flavors and refreshing goodness. Available at igloo outlets and all your favorite shops. From the army, I go to the police force, spend five years service, then take a break and join sheriff security. And so far the experience has been good and I'm enjoying it, like my work, 
very dedicated and determined. Very nice company. They have a lot of benefits. So I think Sheriff Security is one of the best so far for me, for my experience. Lincoln Lewis, General Secretary of the Guyana Trade Union Congress, said Justice Sandal Kasun's decision in the GTU government matter has established the bedrock for them to build and continue to build the trade union's capacity. He was speaking at a press conference today. According to Lewis, the trade union community must recognize that the GTU has led the way on this landmark victory, which is important not only to Guyana, but the wider Caribbean and CARICOM nations. Collectively, the Federation believe the PVP government was, set, was setting out to cut off the lifeblood of the GTU. And if successful, they would have turned on any union challenging their violations and transgressions. The PVP are sore losers and history has proven they are never prepared to play by the rules when in government. Rules only mean something to them when they are in opposition. The GTUC joined the case and was represented by Senior Counsel Roy Z. Ford. Senior Counsel Ford said he is not worried about the intention of the government to appeal the matter, while Lewis said the union is prepared for the long haul. In relation to the first question and the possibility of the government Prevailing at the appeal, I believe that there is no uh, proper foundation for that position right now. The judge's decision, as I said, was very clear, concise. Um, it took into consideration all the possible arguments. The judge examined the intent of the government, of the National Assembly, in bringing these new laws into place as part of a constitutional scheme. And therefore, I am not of the view that the government's appeal will likely to change the decision of Justice Kisun in any way. That we will walk not behind them. We will walk alongside them. We will wake up. We will go to bed in the court with them. We will wake up in the court with them. And we will fight them in the court. We are not prepared to give in. Last Friday, Justice Sandel Kisun ruled that the teacher's 28-day strike was legal and legitimate. He also ruled that wages and salaries of those striking teachers cannot be deducted or withheld. The judge also found that the government of Ghana acted unlawfully and arbitrarily when it decided to discontinue deducting union dues from the salaries of teachers and for the same to be remitted to the Guyana Teachers Union. During the ruling, the judge pointed out that based on the evidence before the court, the union had followed all the necessary procedures and even wrote letters to the authorities to no avail. One of the things that would distinguish us from the other guys is our advancement in, te in technology when it comes to security. Um, we've been able to actually go ahead and um, provide the home service, home security service and drone service among the other service that would have um, significantly contributed to securing society as a whole.
With 70% ethyl alcohol, Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer eliminates 99.99% of all germs and even moisturizes in the process, leaving your skin clean and hydrated. Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer. How do you stay clean? The Alliance for Change has issued a call for the resignation of three commissioners of the Public Procurement Commission, namely Chairman Pauline Chase, Joel Bagwandin, and Raj Narayan Singh over their majority decision on the controversial contract issued to the Tapoi Group for the construction of a pump station at Bellevue on the West Bank of the Marara to the tune of $865,543,500. Tapoi Group, which is closely linked to social media commentator Mitchell Rodriguez, called Guyanese critic, did not meet the criteria to be awarded the contract but was nevertheless awarded the contract. The Public Procurement Commission, which investigated a complaint filed by former Public Infrastructure Minister David Patterson, said it was unable to cancel the contract. While the five commissioners found several breaches in the awarding of the contract, it was the government appointed commissioners, Chairman Pauline Chase, Joel Bagwandin, and Raj Narayan Singh, who took a decision that nothing could be done about the contract at this time. AFC finds the legal device of privity of contract by the three commissioners to allow the award, which ought to have been vitiated ab initio as an outright abdication of their duty to protect against fraud and corruption in procurement matters. They abandon their power under Article 212 AA 1H and I, which provides explicitly that they investigate complaints and in cases of irregularity and mismanagement to propose remedial action. I repeat, to propose remedial action. That was leader of the Alliance for Change, Kemla Dramjitan, who said that the tree acted as an arm of the executive rather than checks and balances as was intended by the framers of the constitution. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.